Hey y'all, what's going on? Um, that last message about looking to the ground and not looking up was an important message that was uh, distributed out to everyone. We gotta remember that all of our ancient intelligence came from the ground. All right. If you look at the inner world. And of course, these sex is going to tell you Agatha, you know, you know, Agatha, the, the center of our of our planet is has got all kind of green people and whatever else, you know, they're going to lie. All right. They don't want to know it's us in a higher form of uh, knowledge, almost like a form of ecstasy where we are like at this point of this knowledge that we continually accumulate more and accumulate and accumulate more all right I just listened to Brooke Sanchez um, I gotta I think I, I, I'm gonna have to share it with you all but I was listening to Brooke Sanchez and he was talking about how Hitler and all the rest of them were uh, looking for anti-gravity devices anti-gravity, all different all different types of anti-gravity machines, how these uh, Saxon scientists are still trying to create anti-gravity. And as I'm listening to this, I'm like just going back into the Akashic memories because we as original beings are the only ones who literally hold the Akashic memories. And I'm looking back and I'm like we had this type of technology and our forefathers, for whatever reason, gave up on it and settled for something less than them. Why? I don't know. All right. And I'm not going to go um, back in time and try to find out because the mic made me angry. So... Our key in this here is that we have to rely upon nature to retrain us in everything that we've lost. Nature is the greatest form of intelligence ever known. All right. Nature has the utmost respect of all organisms. All right. I'm so serious. You ever look at a solar eclipse? And this is during a time where there's a shifting of energies and shifting of frequencies. And not one animal, not one dog barks, not one cat meows, not one bird chirps. The elephants, the lions, and all, they all literally bow down to the natural order that's going on. All right? So it's something that we really have to look at on a higher perspective, brothers and sisters. We have to take ourselves back into the whole state of the natural order of where we come from, which means that we've got to pull everything from the ground. And I, I was doing my meditation. I was linking back into the ancient ancestors and the majority of the ancient ancestors were literally um, in meditation with their hands on their laps the hands facing down on their laps as they were sitting in meditation because they were pulling information from the planet, from within the planet. So it's something that we really have to embrace and hold and bring into a perspective of the, the, the life that we've got to live. We are not misfortunate to be in this era. It's fortunate for us to be in this era right now because we can show how we are able to shift and change with this power. All right? These Saxons are trying to create machines with hundreds of thousands of volts of electricity. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. Once we tap into nature, once we tap into you know, our planet creates a decillion, decillion volts of electricity per nanosecond. 
I said a decillion decillion. All right, that's literally that's bigger than ten trillion. Nanillion is huge. That's a lot of fucking zeros. So our planet creates a decillion decillion votes of natural plasmatic electricity per nanosecond which means that we have the ability to tap into this type of, of, of energy. We have the ability to tap into it. It's just that we have to become knowledgeable of self. This energy is designed for us. We were created and manifested designed strictly by this planetary structure. Mankind does not belong here. All forms of mankind does not belong here. All right, when we're looking at a definite shift of everything. So the whole World War, Hitler, German War, whatever that they created, the whole part of that war was designed as a way to keep us from seeing that they were destroying our ancient structures that literally contain extremely high uh, uh, high volumes of plasma, photon, ether. All right, we were in a sleep spell. We already we talked about that. We're not going back in that on that on that again. We already talked about that how we were in a sleep spell. So the other part was that of that war was to hide the fact that they were testing and studying different ancient sites of our realm that our ancestors had created. And this is why they said, do not allow the sleeping giant to awaken because they're talking about the so-called African-Americans. We're the sleeping giants. This is who they were talking about. They were talking about the, the so-called African-Americans, the original beings, because they said that would be a great price that we have to pay once the sleeping giants awaken because they know the power that we have within us. So we have to tap into this energy. Remember, our planet literally produces a decillion, decillion volts of natural plasmatic electricity per nanosecond, which means we have the ability to tap into all this. And this is why they fear us tapping into this. This is why they they need us to eat the wrong food. They need us to, to think the wrong thoughts. They need us to do the wrong things. That's I'm serious. They need us to do everything that's against nature. And they will promote us killing each other, but they will never have us to seek out to seek justice for what they've done okay so it's important brothers and sisters that we've got to bring ourselves into the balance of this you know powerful energy so that we can bring ourselves into a whole nother perspective of what real power is all right because we've come too far we've come way too far brothers and sisters to allow ourselves to be held back by something that was never supposed to be in existence in this realm. All right. Bro Sanchez talked about how these greys and other species of beings entered our planet through portals and how they're stuck here. They don't know how to get, they don't know the portal to get out. They're stuck here. So while they're stuck here, they're creating nanotechnology. They're creating uh, all kind of devices. They're 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 trying to get into our psyche to to shift our minds into something that they want us to be, so that they can uh, continue to survive. And this is something that we really really need to um, focus on as the original beings, because. Our whole point is to return to absolute power. And the only way we're going to do that is we're going to have to literally ground ourselves. There was a brother who did a video talking about showing how we are not grounded when we wear certain shoes. Um, and he created some shoes. It was pretty neat. It's pretty real neat how he created these shoes. And um, I commend the brother for actually going into some natural technology because you have to remember that, you know, there's unnatural technology that's natural technology. Those um, archons and grays, the grays are literally the children of the archons. 
um, they're they're responsible for creating the artificial intelligence. All right, Bro, Bro Sanchez brought that out. And they're actually responsible for creating artificial uh, intelligence and all those robots because those robots can do the things that they are not able to do. Brothers and sisters, when you talk about making vines come down and choke an enemy out, making roots come out of the ground, that takes a lot of fucking energy. And what did we tell you all? We told you all that these melanated bodies, these carbon-based bodies were designed to hold the most powerful energy ever known across the cosmos, across the planet. And we're talking about natural energy. We're not talking about this alternative current that they created. We're talking about natural energy. In our rawest energy, in our rawest, the rawest power, we can literally cause pure volts of lightning to come from our bodies. But it's that we have to be, have to have our mind in the right condition. All right, we have to have our mind in the right condition because we're looking at a true enemy who literally wants to subdue everything that is about us. All right, we're looking at a real enemy. This and everything hap- is happening, literally, literally happening, brothers and sisters, in real time. Everything is happening in real time, and we've got to see that this enemy doesn't want us to be who our ancestors were all right yes we did fly yes we did levitate yes we did this is why they say they're well they want to hide the sun from us so we as the original beings have got to advance ourselves by grounding i'm like shit i need to go out there and ground when it's the coldest of the coldest just to show these motherfuckers you can't stop me you can't stop this They hide the sun, they hide the moon because they know what power we get from those two organisms. So which means that if they're hiding the sun and the moon above us, we must link into the sun and moon within us and ground ourselves and pull as much energy as we can. And when we began pulling energy from the ground, we began to change and shift the molecular structure of our bodies. All right. This is what's called biokinesis. All right. Biokinesis is the is, is the, 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 the power to shift and change your body into something else that, um, well, they could say in, 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 in certain things, they say your body shifts your body into an altered state. You alter the state of your body will make you, which you, you cause your body to become more magnetic, more electrical, cause your body to become more in tune to nature. All right. Where you are able to cause trees to walk and to talk. All right. We're talking about the mysticism of who we are, but we must be able to tap into that, that, that decillion, decillion natural plasmatic uh, electrical votes of our planet. Our planet literally produces a decillion, decillion plasmatic votes of energy per nanosecond. So it's important, brothers and sisters, that we understand what is currently taking place at this present moment. How we are to be able to shift and transform all right so it was so it is and and the thing about it is meditating towards the ground you know you know what i i did that i did a message like that years and years ago because i've been this this would probably be my 10th year with the youtube thing so i remember years and years ago i was like you can meditate with your hands to the cosmos and you can meditate with your hands to the ground and it's coming back so you can tap into the cosmos and pull in this this powerful energy but at the same time you can tap into the ground and pull in pull the creator's energy because we we link into creator's energy because you have to remember that we were literally created by this planet there is no 
God and Allah and all this other stuff, you know, that that the whole religious era gave us. We were directly we were created directly by the planet. So which means that our frequency must be uh, must become equal to the frequency of the planet, which means that we've got to up our our whole focus. We got to change the status of our uh, existence in our realm. All right. It's important that we bring this thing to a close that our enemies have um, have created. They've created a world for themselves. This is not designed for us. The whole money thing, that's not designed for us. That's designed for them. This is designed so that we can be in a sleep state so that we won't tap back into this energy and only thing we can concern with is the money, 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 and the religion, and the money, and the religion, and the money, and the religion. That's all they want us to be a part of. All right? They want us to tap into that so that we won't see that we're supposed to be linking into everything that's out there. Our powers depend upon us um, going into a more higher uh, level of thought, uh, you know, and we've got we've and uh, we literally have to become passionate about this. We we have to have a passion for this. All right, we literally have to have a passion. We gotta we gotta be able to um, shift our entire mindset into a more uh, uh, which I want to say that a more optical mindset where we are able to see. Uh, with our minds and our hearts and not see with what uh, has been designed for us to see. Because like we say, there's a much bigger picture that we must be uh, looking at. There's a much, there's, there's a grander scale of information that we must obtain. There's a grander scale of information that we must op- obtain. And obtaining this, okay, we've gone to the cosmos, we've visited the planets, we've visited, we've done all that within the cosmos. I know I've, I've traveled from the universe to universe to universe, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. I haven't traveled the planet. All right. I haven't gone into the different realms of this planet. I haven't gone into the different realms of this realm. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie to you. I want to be honest with you. I haven't done that. I know I've I've spent many times traveling through the cosmos. I go through 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 different areas, and I mean, I went to one, and there was this queen. I can't remember her name, but she says the great and powerful Sima. She says I am so glad to meet you, and we talked for a hot second, and then um, we transferred information, and then I left. But visiting. Here in the realm, I think I've been to the Council of Kai one time, and I've dealt with the higher the higher councils, like the Supreme Cosmic Council, the the, the High Cosmic Council. I've dealt with them. All right, I'm I'm a part of that. But the Council of Kai, I've I think I've been the Council of uh, spoken to the Council of Kai maybe once or twice. All right, maybe once or twice, but I'm going to be honest. I haven't traveled the planet. I haven't traveled through the gateways and portals through this planet. And there's a lot of mystical energies and all. And this is what our ancestors did. Our ancestors literally were in a state of meditation. We learned how to travel the planet. We learned. All right. So it's important, brothers and sisters, that we bring ourselves into this type of information so that we, as the original beings, can begin moving into this higher concept of energy and power. All right. So I'm going to leave you with that. But remember, our planet literally creates a decillion, decillion electrical plasmatic volts, natural electrical plasmatic volts of energy per nanosecond. And we've got to tap into that. All right. Let's let's get to grounding ourselves and let's get to tapping into this energy. I'm going to talk with uh, soon. I'm going to talk about Tai Chi and how to properly 
pull the energy from the planet as we do this chi exercises, chi movements. All right. I'll catch you guys later. Much power to you all.